All right, we're gonna get started in just a minute. Let me turn off this fan. Lighting right. This is Billy Bones. If you've not met Billy Bones, probably because you weren't a chiropractic patient of mine or in school with me. Hopefully that'll turn off. All right. Well, welcome everyone. Um, let me see. Make sure that I am on live we're going to talk about bones today and if we've not met before just give me one second to make sure that we're live if we've not met before i'm dr mary star the total wellness doc and mom it's my privilege to be with you i've been away a couple weeks on vacation so i'm excited to be back <clears throat> let me just yep it looks like we are live and you know what? I think we are, but I've done it wrong. Here we go. Okay. I just had my family on there. Now it's public. So, okay, so let's get started. Um, maybe you received my newsletter and you know that we do these Wednesday wellnesses every week and we talk about every week so this week we're going to talk about bones and we've got billy bones joining us let me make sure that we share this here hold on one second thank you for your patience here we go Okay, so every week we come to you um, live. Billy's arm has fallen off. We just found him in a, in a box. Um, every week we come to you live and we talk about a different subject. And every week we have a book or some kind of um, thing that I've found through the years that is amazing. So this week our sponsor or product that I want to share with you before we talk about bones is this. This product is called Clariderm. It's called Clariderm and it's a specific formulated spray. It is mostly for women, but it can be for men too. And it's for those sensitive areas, ladies. So women who um, are about to have children after you've had children, women who are peri or post menopause and they have maybe some dryness or itching. Um, this is an excellent spray and you don't need very much. I know it doesn't look like a big bottle and I will tell you this is not cheap. It's not something you just go to the store and buy. You have to special order it from a wellness consultant um, with Young Living. But this product has saved me so much through the years through um, babies, having babies and um, later on, I just was driving for many, many days. This is a product you want to have. Um, even with my daughter or even cuts and scrapes, I'll use it. It has things like myrrh in it, um, uh, clary sage, just really great things for women. And it makes that sensitive area so much more comfortable. I could tell you story after story after story, but I really highly recommend this for women who are um, going to have baby who have maybe painful intercourse who are going through peri or postmenopausal and having dryness this is a great product and it just came back in stock in Young Living um, this week so get a hold of your wellness consultant ASAP and if you don't have one I'd love to serve you I've been serving people for 20 years as a wellness consultant so again my name is Dr. Mary Starr I'm known as the Total Wellness Doc and I got my start in wellness many, many years ago. Prior to even being a chiropractor, I worked in, interned in maternity and OBGYN and, and um, as worked with lab techs, all those fun things. So I've seen a lot through the years, um, but I specialize, I really specialized in women's health as a chiropractor. 
So today we're going to talk about bones. Probably we could go on and on about this subject, but I want I brought I'm bringing Billy Bones on with us today because Billy um, can give you much better visual. So let's take his apron off here, and he's very old. I got him, gosh, many 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 years ago. I think before 2000, Billy has been around. Okay, so um, a lot of you are familiar with the concept of arthritis, right? You're, um, let's bring him a little bit closer. So you heard, well, right, that, that term, or you hear uh, people, oh, my arthritis. Well, there's a lot of different types of arthritis, um, but the most common arthritis is osteoarthritis, which is like bone arthritis, right? And you can have it in a variety of different places. Many of us, even in our 20s, would have osteoarthritis spine and what that can look like on an x-ray is kind of if you can see these little joints and um, here's the spinous process and then you can see the vertebra and then the disc are in between but in the vertebra a little bit of almost like sharp edges right you would see some sharp edges on x-ray it would might be a little bit brighter and that would be what we call osteoarthritis now rheumatoid are damaging and it actually starts to eat the joints, it eats the, the bone and it's much more inflammatory, it's, it's bad news. But again, many people do have both of those, osteoarthritis being very, very common. So you can have a lot of osteoarthritis um, here in the neck area because a lot of us, including myself, we have a lot of this forward head carriage, right? We're looking at our computers, we're driving, you know, our posture has a lot to do with that. You can have a lot of um, osteoarthritis even in the thoracic area. You know, my husband, I've seen his um, x-rays. You can have osteoarthritis uh, in the, even in your joints, excuse me, even in your joints, your hands, things like that. And there's something even called psoriatic arthritis. Um, in psoriatic arthritis, you'll see a lot of times um, they'll have very big or deformed joints in there. So that's a little bit about that. But one of the things that I want to remind you of that even if you have arthritis, particularly osteoarthritis, there's some simple things that you can do to help improve that, right? Help improve the pain. Because I could lay out 10 people who all have osteoarthritis from their 20s to their 80s. And all let's say in the neck or, or the um, the back okay and they can all have osteoarthritis and some of them will have high pain levels and some people will have no pain at all now some of that has to do maybe with some genetic factors it might have to do with their work all day in fact we find that people sit all day is so detrimental to the body, right? Research has come out to show how sitting all day is like smoking cigarettes to our health. So sitting uh, a lot and not getting um, a lot of uh, fluid moving and things like that can cause a lot of, of that osteoarthritis. Repetitive motion, maybe having your computer screen like not at the right height, you know, for years on end or irritating repetitive motion. Sometimes we'll see even a little bit of osteoarthritis or even bursitis in the shoulders of like hairdressers who have to keep their hands up all the time, those repetitive motions. But a simple thing that we all can do to help decrease our pain levels is drinking more water. So number one, we can drink more water. Particularly when it comes to osteoarthritis, they find that people who have, are more hydrated, the joints are more hydrated, Inflammation caused maybe by some of that osteoarthritis, irritating some of the joints, um, can help flush out. So drink more water. The second thing is we can have a diet that is not full of refined sugars, breads, you know the drill, right? <laughs> How many of you, right? It's Halloween time or eating more candies or you've been eating more breads or pumpkin donuts and things like that. You wake up in the morning, you're like, Ooh, you know, you're feeling that stiffness. A lot of that comes from the inflammatory food we eat. Now, I 
that some of you will be more sensitive to dairy. Dairy products will make your body more inflamed. Some of it will come out with pain. Some of it will be more allergies, okay? So it could be dairy. It could be things like gluten, causing more inflammation in your body. It could, in fact, there's some even studies or even theories out there, people who are gluten sensitive have more arthritis, right? Even some forms of rheumatoid arthritis. Um, what else? So water, we talked about your diet. And then of course we can eat more alkalizing food. I've talked in these talks before about alkaline, alkalizing the body. And we can do that by eating greens, kales, getting lots of um, salads every day. I've written some blog, blog articles um, with some really good research, even studies showing that MS and um, things like psoriatic arthritis and things like that have been significantly improved with because eating, you know, four cups of, of greens or I think it's eight cups of greens every day isn't uh, very good. Okay, so Holly says, I noticed someone the other day have a hump in their spine. It was shoulders. Is this likely from arthritis? Holly, I actually have this too. It's called the Dousher's Hump. And what this comes from, it's kind of in this, this area of the spine. And a lot of times when we have that forward head carriage, okay, and the rounded shoulders, there's a lot of pressure here. And the body will build up fat over this area. So yes, it can get more arthritis in this area, but it will also build up fat in this area, and it's called a Dousher's hump. It's also, Holly, a result of cortisol in the body, stress hormone in the body. Very interesting, huh? Hmm. So, I have found that things like Pilates um, helps my Dousher's hump go down a little bit. Um, uh, tightening the, the abs, we will, we will tend to overcompensate in our curves and things like that, especially when we have a lot of weakness here. So we'll have more of a hump here, uh, you can't see down in the lumbars, but more of a curve here when our abs are not tight. The core, you've heard it all the time, the core, and we'll add that to, to this too, you can support your bones strengthening your core. And I'm not talking about doing sit-ups because I find most people with weak abs, most people have weak abs, and as soon as they start to do those sit-ups, it really irritates their neck, it causes some pains, sends them to the chiropractor, and boy oh boy, they're not comfortable. So, okay, so back to um, the things that can help with osteoarthritis. So osteoarthritis, again, is that bony type of arthritis and we talked about some simple things we can do. We can make sure our ergonomics is good at work, that we're standing up straight, we're getting up, we're moving the fluid through the body. And this is all simple chiropractic things, right? The second thing we can do is that we can drink more water. We can make sure our body is hydrated. People who are more dehydrated technically will, most of the time will have more pain, more inflammation in the body. The third thing we can do is we can change our diet, right? We, we all love this time of year. We love the pumpkin donuts. We love all those things, but you have to recognize what brings more inflammation in your body. And you can, you can understand that by looking at your diet and saying, hmm, did I wake up stiff this morning, more stiff than usual? Did I wake up um, with a lot of that phlegm, that coughing, I'm constantly coughing, all of that. So those are some things that you can do to um, help as well. Um, tightening the core, strengthening the core are some great ways as well to help pain in our body, to help our bones, um, all of that. So what else, Billy? So there's so many things that we can talk about in terms of uh, bones and uh, the body and where pain comes from. But one of the last things that I want to, you to understand too is a lot of times we go and we get an x-ray, right? But in x-ray, we can only see bones, right? We can't really visualize joints, right? We need other imaging for that. But a lot of times the joints in the chiropractic world that I come from, the joints are really 
usually the, the problem area. We call them subluxations, okay? So if we can look at um, the spine and people say, oh, I got my bones adjusted. Well, actually you got your joints adjusted because in between these areas, particularly on each of these sides, will be certain joints. And a joint can get stuck, it can get rotated, so the, the bones actually can be a little bit rotated. Um, they can be uh, almost, if you've had trauma or accident, they can have some scar tissue in there. There's so many things that can have to do with the joints. So that's why really good stretching and, and good physical activity are so important. Movement, all of those things. All right, so what are your questions? I hope that was helpful. Any other Kairos on or my son wants me to tell you he's learning about bones in a school right now. Awesome, Michelle, that is great, yes. Um, for those of you in patients right now too, I know that you are studying the body and studying the bones as well. Awesome. Okay, any other questions? I'll give you a few more seconds. I hope that was helpful. Some, maybe most of you already know this. Um, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, that we this is where we post our content every week we have our what well wellness Wednesdays where we talk about different topics uh, different things that come from my patient experience from chiropractors from your stories all of that all right okay so I hope that you've got a little more information particularly osteoarthritis is and um, how some things that you can use to benefit you. Now, a lot of people might ask me, well, I took this medicine or I took this supplement. Of course, I can't diagnose and prescribe, sadly. All I know is this, that um, it's better to be more conservative with your health versus just to go for the painkiller, right? If I take Tylenol every day for my osteoarthritis, is that the best thing that I can do? No, it's not. <laughs> it really is not the best thing that you can do because that has some side effects. It congests the liver. It's maybe not good for the whole body, but doing some of these other things, especially if they could lower your pain by 30%, 40%, 50%, how cool is that? Uh, nutrition, people, people find that antioxidants. Maybe they add some glucosamine and chondroitin. They have great results. In fact, I have one contractor. Every year he will buy this particular supplement for me um, that has some of that glucosamine and chondroitin in it. And he it. And he's in his 80s now. But he wasn't able to um, work his shoulder. He had had shoulder surgery and it wasn't, you know, really uh, the most beneficial. And so he found that if he took one of these little supplements every single day, that he was able to work all winter, all summer, that that was his thing. He would buy like three or four bottles a year. So I don't know, all I know is that staying active, drinking water, having a good healthy diet, um, supplementing, right? And of course, chiropractic care. I even forgot that. Why do we want to have chiropractic care? Because chiropractic care can help to open up the joints, help break up some of the adhesions, get a lot of the inflammation out of the spine, as well as helping our posture and all that too. I have a vibration platform. Is this good for arthritis? A vibration platform is um, something that you sit on or you stand on for is flushing the lymphatics and flushing inflammation. So yes, I do have clients who have those who um, say that it helps to lower their pain level. Can I say it's gonna cure your arthritis? No, probably nothing's going to cure our arthritis, but there are things that are going to lower our pain levels. Okay, hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you next week. Um, before I leave, I have a seven o'clock uh, orientation for any of you who are interested in ways that you can earn income this Christmas season. Uh, you are a busy mom, you are um, looking for something part-time because 
you uh, want to earn something extra for the Christmas gifts, maybe you've been out of work, I'd love to connect with you. We're doing interviews and we have an orientation this at 7 o'clock Central today. All right. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.